Hello, students. Welcome to this chapter. In this chapter, we are going to look at stories, and as you can see, this is very, very beautiful, and it is rather fascinating. Yes, this is the stories feature within IBM Cognos Analytics. So, what you just saw was the story feature. You see, with the stories feature, you can animate your dashboard. Essentially, you can create a dashboard, and then you can animate when you want the different elements on your dashboard to display. So let me play through it again. What you saw was one dashboard that I created using the dashboard feature. And I'm going to play through it again. I'm going to click on the scene marker and it's going to go to the beginning of the presentation. So essentially you use stories when you have when you need to do a presentation. So any company anywhere in the world, if you have to present, you found some interesting data within your data set and you want to create a presentation, this is how you go about using it, right? I'm going to click the play button and I'm going to go from marker to marker. So you see that at the bottom we have all these different markers and this signifies when an object is going to be displayed on, on my dashboard. So during my presentation I'm going to show you some absenteeism data. So, so let me show you how I would use stories. So let's do this presentation. This is what you just saw, but now I'm going to use it like how I would if I was presenting for, say, a Jeff Bezos, right? <laughs> okay, so I click the next marker, and okay, so I'm going to go into full presentation mode now. So you guys, I'm going to switch personalities. I'm going to become a presenter, and essentially I'm using IBM Cognos Analytics. Data within my organization, I'm going to, essentially I'm using data within my organization to do a presentation for Jeff Bezos or you know for the executives or some managers or some people in HR. So this is how I'll do it. Of course, you know, in my case, this is the Cognitive Analytics online training course. And my name is Kwame Uku. I'm the founder of Cognitics. And in this presentation, I'm going to show you some absenteeism data for males and females at a fictitious company. Okay, so the data that I used is fake data that I found online. So don't read too much into what you see on the dashboard. I know some of you analysts are going to be tempted to try to derive uh, some meaning or extrapolate some points, you know, some point of views from the data, but uh, don't do that. This is fake data. Okay, so this data, I'm showing that they are, on average, the mills are 56 hours absent from this fictitious company, and I have broken down their length of service using a bar chart visualization or a column chart visualization that is being shown vertically. Okay, so I see that on average, uh, directors, you know, the director of audit, the director of training, the executive, these men have spent the most amount of time at this company. And it makes sense. Usually the older people uh, get to be in the positions of power. So then I click on the next marker. As you see, it shows another visualization. And this, this visualization is actually very powerful. It's showing me two types of information. First, it is not by job title. This time it is by department. So folks, I'm showing the different departments uh, and the average number of hours that employees have been absent. Okay, so I'm seeing very quickly that recruitment and process foods and training, you know, these people that work in this, uh, this department uh, tend to miss work a lot. So this is amazing. Very quickly, I can go to anyone in this organization and state this as a fact. You know, absenteeism is not a good thing. So you want to keep absenteeism numbers low for your organization. So immediately, I know, you know, without even finishing the presentation, I know that we need to make a note to maybe take a look at these departments. You know, why are people not coming to work? You know, is it because of the pay? Is it because they have bad managers? You know, why are they not, are they missing work? And another thing that I notice is also that it seems that there is some kind of correlation between their length of service and the and they taking off work, right? I notice that people in recruitment and training, you know, the color, the intensity of the color tells me how long on average people at this organization have worked for the company. So you see, when I highlight training, you see that it's showing 59, which is the same 59 you see here. 59 is the average hours the employees in the training department take off. Uh, uh, well, they don't take off work. They are just absent. They don't show up. And I probably should understand what absent hours means. You know, obviously, I've not investigated that, but if I worked at a company, I probably need to define what it means to be absent. You know, is it absent by not calling in or is it absent because, you know, you, you took the day off? Is it absent because you took a holiday, right? 
So that is something that would be useful. I should have probably placed it in my dashboard. Uh, if you are going to deliver this, it's probably a good idea for you to give a description. And even in that case, you would have created a scene before to give contest, right? You could have you, you could have created another scene before showing this dashboard where you can give, you can tell your audience what it is that you'll be talking about, okay? So I have to move on with this presentation. I'm going to click the nest marker and obviously I'm putting in some cool arrows here. Now that I think about it, the arrows should have, I should have placed the arrows here. You see these cool arrows? I could have placed them here. Right after absenteeism comes up, I should have probably placed those arrows that you saw. I think these ones. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to change that sequence. The beauty part is you, I built this myself. You are all going to learn how to build this shortly. Um, you, you pick and choose when you want these or just to display. So we are going to go over that. Uh, I just wanted to clarify that I'm going to make this change because I, I think it would have made more sense if I put the the bar right before the mill stuff came. The, the mill data points showed up. Okay, so I click the nest marker and now it shows the female icon and I see that on average, females are 67 hours absent in the course of a year, okay? So we know that the females are, for the most part, they are they have on average, they don't show up for work compared to the males. So I click the next button and I get the same job title by length of service. At this organization, the director of technology and the, and the HRS analyst, they've been, they spend the most time at the company. Let's click on the next marker and you see that we also get the same visualization and we see that in terms of the females, wow, this is pretty interesting with the males. Assuming this was real data, this is fascinating because the males, 44 on average, they are absent 44 hours in the year. But the females appear to be absent a lot in the investment department. This is a key insight. You see, when IBM talks about gen generating insights from your data using IBM Cognos Analytics, this is what they are talking about. We need to make a decision. We need to find opportunities. We need to find problems in our data. The whole purpose we are being hired as data analysts, as data scientists, as business intelligence uh, analysts, we are all looking to help the business make a decision based on their data. So it is very subjective in terms of the definition of what a data analyst truly is. But I think that what we are doing is already we are analyzing this data. You see, we didn't know that on average there were 67 hours ladies spend 67 hours absent at this company. But now we know and we are going to make a decision based on this. You see, we may need to talk to the, the supervisors on the mill side or we just need to find out why, why they think that they have fewer absent hours compared to the females. You know, if, if I wanted to try to bring this number down, that is where I would start. But you see that some of you are already thinking. Some of you natural analysts out there are already thinking of ways you could actually use this data, you know, you can feed it into artificial intelligence um, applications. And in fact, Cognos, in, Cognos has an AI uh, feature called exploration. If you are in my course, you, you probably already know how to use that. We could actually feed this data in the AI and, and the AI will tell us or give us some ideas as to why this is occurring. But I, I digress. I need to stay on topic here. I get excited when I start talking about data and all the, the, the possibilities. So in terms of the females, yeah, we can definitely see that the training group, they tend to come to work relative to these other, um, <laughs> these other departments, you know, the training department, you know, 66 compared to 89, obviously they are doing something good. And it seems like that is also opposite to the males. In terms of the males, the males tend to show up um, for work when they are males, but when they are females, you know, same as the investment, there's a flip. So this is interesting. Let's see, are there, is there anything else? Okay, so I get my arrows and then the story feature comes in. Now, obviously, you design you would design your own so you can determine when you want these items to show up. But that is how you would use, um, you use the story.